very good afternoon to all the students of class 10th d yes beta we are going to do new poem today the tale of custard the dragon fine uh so page number 129 of your books i will be sharing screen with you all but you please keep your books with you because i need to make you write some words some meanings and accordingly fine so i'll be sharing the screen kindly tell me if you can see the screen yes is it visible to you beta fine taksh ko sabse pehle dikhiye and taksh i'll ask you the questions also okay so be there if i ask in between then you never answer the tale of custard the dragon now the very you know queer uh, ajeeb sa name hai otherwise by reading this we cannot make out what this poem is all about fine uh, tale means a story custard uska name hai dragon ka Uh, so let's read about this poem. Otherwise, it's much more. Nahi aayegi. Ab koi few will be reading this. Still, students are joining. But please be punctual on daily basis. The same thing I'm saying. Tenth day, half of the class joins, half of the class is just taking rest in the last period. The tale of Custard the Dragon. This poem is written in the style of a ballad, a song or poem that tells a story. You must be familiar with ballads that narrate tales of. courage or heroism this poem is humorous ballad closely close to a parody read it aloud paying attention to the rhythm now why they are call, calling it parody now what let me tell you the uh, you can say branches of poetry in this ballad ballad kya hota hai ballad is beta uh, you can see this ballad they have written the a song or poem that tells a story theek hai so poem in which a story is narrated that is called a ballad ठीक है ऐसी पोएम जिसमें एक स्टोरी नरेट की गई हो फाइन दैट इज अ बैलेट सो पैरडी इज अगेन पार्ट ऑफ दैट पोएट्री दिस इज अमरस बैलेट क्लोज टू अ पैरडी सो इन दिस ह्यूमर इज ऑल्सो क्रिएटेड एक तो स्टोरी बताई गई है इसके अंदर पोएम के अंदर और ऊपर से म्यूजिकल भी है दिस इज हैविंग रिदम एंड राइम एंड फाइन सो दैट्स वाई इट इज वेरी मच क्लोज टू अ पैरडी दैट इज अनदर पार्ट ऑफ ब्रांच ऑफ पोएट्री क्लियर so uh, we i'm going to narrate about the, there are characters in this poem uh, protagonist belinda belinda is that little girl who lives in a little white house theek hai chote se white house mein ye girl rehti hai and she has a four pets four pets hain uske paas uh, first pet hai uska it's a black little kitten and then she has a little mouse and then she has a dog and then uh, a dragon this is the fourth pet she is having clear so these four pets she is having and uh, she has uh, named themselves on her own uh, in this uh, story and in this poem as well uh, little kitten ka name usne ink rakha hai and she calls that mouse blink ink and blink just to rhyme this and then uh, she calls his dog mustard and this uh, dragon as custard fine these words have been chosen deliberately by the poet to make it in a rhyme way fine and then uh, this is just introduction i'm giving you and then uh, uh, the story uh, you know will be teaching us something see you can see it is written by ogden nash ogden nash is the american poet you know in a very free verse he used to write in a you can say a humorous way this poem is written but the message which this poem gives is not humorous okay so we will be reading about this tale of custard the dragon but message is introduction clear hai sabko belinda and four pets are there okay if it is not clear uh, those who are joining now unko kuch samajh mein nahi aane wala hai still you are joining so let me tell you about the characters it is written in the book belinda she is the little girl who lives in the little white house clear then she has four pets number 1 kitten then mouse and third one is a dog and fourth one is a dragon clear Please have a look at the board. Those who have joined now, beta, this poem is not coming to you. So this poem is written in the form of a ballad. Clear? Ballad is when there is a story in the poem that is known as ballad. 
So Belinda is a little girl, lives in little white house, and she has four pets: kitten, mouse, dog, and dragon. She has named them also. And you know, uh, this poem is going to teach something very important to us. You know, we uh, never underestimate someone. So this is one of the themes. Please note down: never underestimate others. We, you know, have this habit. हमें लगता है कि we are superiors than others. Only we can do this. Others cannot do this. So this poem will teach us that we should not underestimate others. Anybody can show any trait at any time in life. कैसे भी circumstances होंगे that can extract that good part of your life also. Fine. Never have superiority complex. You think that you are superior than others. You should not have that. Underestimate भी ना करो दूसरों को और खुद को superior भी मत समझो. Clear? So third and last one is even timid people can be courageous. These all themes are interlinked. If you see. Timid means very weak people. हम जिसको कहते हैं ना ये तो कुछ नहीं कर सकता है दैट पर्सन कैन नॉट डू एनी थिंग वेरी वीक वेरी टिमेड वेरी यू कैन से कैजुअल एंड ऑल दैट कैन बी करीजियस ऑल्सो वी यू नो स्टार्ट हैविंग प्री कंसीव्ड नोशन अगर एक पर्सन किसी दूसरे पर्सन के बारे में कोई स्टेटमेंट देता है वी स्टार्ट एक्सेप्टिंग इट एज इट इज यू नो वी डू नॉट वी स्टार्ट टेकिंग इट फॉर ग्रांटेड कि अच्छा ये ऐसा ही है so we should not think bad about others without by getting the statements from others anybody can change at any time any can be courageous and we should not you know think bad about others we should not have superiority complex about ourselves ki hum hi better hai bas and we should not underestimate the others at all fine so this story will be telling us these three uh, characters kitten mouse and dog they have high ears about themselves they think that they are courageous and this dragon this Uh, whose name is custard fine he is considered to be a uh, one of the cowards cowards means darpok theek hai to uske sath ek tag laga hua hai that he is very scared and timid and he cannot do anything ab dekho dragon uh, if you compare all the animals dragon seems to be the most dangerous if you ask a person fine dragon because when when i call dragon dragon ki kya appearance aati hai okay fire from the mouth and having huge structure fine as compared to the other animals but even then in this poem they have presented dragon as having the huge structure but having very timid personality so every uh, creature in the house including belinda they treat dragon very uh, you can say casually the timid creature but one day what happens uh, something happens in this poem in the story because there is a story in this poem that's why it is known as ballad to kya hoga kaise wo dragon apni image change karega something is going to happen which is going to change the image of this dragon whose name is custard let's know the names of these uh, animals also uh, the name of this kitten is ink please note down ye likha hua hai stanza mein aapke book pe kitten ka name hai ink just to make it rhyme mouse ka name hai blink then dog because dog ka jo color tha that was yellowish in color uh, yellowish color tha that's why Belinda chose this name for this dog. Uh, Belinda ne apne dog ka name mustard rakh diya. Mustard color is like near to near to yellow color, and that's why. And this name of this dragon is Custard. He's a uh, coward. He's considered coward by others. Clear? So that's why she thought of choosing this name. Sab ko itna clear hai, beta? Please tell me. Clear hai itna sabko? Please send me a thumbs up and feedback so that I can take it further. Yes, my very intelligent tenth B. And please send your assignments well in time and posters also. Again and again, I am repeating. Chali, Parishit, you never respond in the beginning. You are there, but in between, when I ask, you were gone yesterday. So I have marked you absent yesterday only. so make sure by seeing the thumbs up i'm not going to give the presence so if i ask you any question in between and you're not responding it means you're not there bar bar maine ek cheez roz nahi bolni hai you make sure let's continue chaliye this poem is written i told you in the form of the ballad it is a song fine 
लेट्स रीड द पोएम पेइंग अटेंशन टू द रिदम चलिए फर्स्ट स्टैंडा प्लीज कीप योर पेन पेंसिल्स इन योर हैंड बलिंडा लिव इन लिटिल व्हाइट हाउस with a little black kitten and a little gray mouse and a little yellow dog and a little red wagon and a really or truly or little pet dragon so the poet says that once there was a little girl named belinda so wo story form mein sunane laga aapko ye poem clear a uh, screen clear hai sabko is it visible fine very much visible please apni books bhi saath mein rakhna so a uh, poet says that once there was a little girl named belinda and uh, she lived in a little white house and she lived with some creatures uh, who were her pets actually so uske pets the she has kept those pets in her house obviously she is taking care of them and uh, uh, she lived with some creatures who were her pets and they were kon kon se creatures the they were a black kitten fine ye jo adjectives lagaye hain uske color bataye gaye hain black colored kitten a gray colored mouse a yellow colored dog and a little red wagon fine and a creature that the poet says was really and truly a dragon now what do you mean by really or truly really means really truly means truly really truly fine wagon here means beta uh, otherwise uh, little red wagon here uh, they have used wagon is actually a carrier in which You know things and pets are carried somewhere. So we again, we usko bol dete hain. So really, uh, really, truly, uh, she had one little pet dragon also. We have never heard a dragon as a pet, but in this poem, yes, they have kept a dragon as a pet only. Clear? So in the first stanza, they have just told about these four creatures. Clear? Uh, Yes, beta, please tell me. साथ साथ में मैंने करवाती जाने राइम स्कीम हाउस माउस वेगन ड्रैगन विच राइम स्कीम इज यूज वो ए बी सी डी वाला मैं पूछ रही हूँ दैट ओनली यू टेल मी विच राइम स्कीम इज यूज यू विल टेल मी कम ऑन फास्ट विच राइम स्कीम इज यूज इन दिस टेंजा पूरी पॉइंट में सेम ही है ए ए बी बी ओके यस सक्षम एज रेज हैंड बट बिफोर दैट आई स्पोक इट्स ओके ए ए बी बी House, mouse, same sound. A A. Wagon, dragon, B B. Please write down on your books. Small A A, small B B. Chota wala, clear? Not big. A A B B. So what is the rhyme scheme of this poem? A A B B. Clear? Uh, then let me explain second stanza. We will do uh, literary devices side by side uh, or later on. जैसे पहले करते हैं पहले poem कर लेते हैं last में we will do literary devices so that आपकी revision भी अच्छे से हो जाए. Now the name of the little black kitten was Ink, and the little grey mouse she called him Bling, and the little yellow dog was sharp as mustard, but the dragon was a coward, and she called him Custard. So she named black little kitten as Ink, and the name of grey little mouse was Blink, and the little yellow dog because it was of mustard color, so that's why she called him Mustard. It was yellowish in color. and but dragon was a coward coward means dar pok dara hua and he does not have guts fine so that's why she called him custard so she chose these names for her creatures clear custard the dragon had big sharp teeth and spikes on the top of him and scales underneath mouth like a fireplace chimney for a nose and really or truly or daggers on his toes and in this third stanza poet says that poet describes the dragon that it had big sharp teeth you know it had very big and sharp teeth fine now this uh, stanza is actually describing the description of giving the description of the dragon only so poet says that dragon had big sharp teeth and spikes on the top fine jaise uske head pe spikes bane hote hain this means that its skin was pointed on the top fine pointed spikes jaise boys apne spikes banate hain na on the hair in that way so spikes on the top means he has pointed skin on the top fine and on the lower part it had scales which were bony plates uh, to protect the skin and his mouth has been compared to a fireplace fine mouth like a fireplace ye kaun si device hai kaun batayega mujhe 
अभी करनी तो चाहे बाद में हमने बट इवन देन यू कैन टेल मी माउथ लाइक अ फायर प्लेस विच कोई टेक डिवाइस इज यूज बी क्विक इन एफ इन रिस्पॉन्सिस अदरवाइज नो चांसेस टू बी गिवन to anyone anybody knows mouth like a fireplace which poetic device is used here mouth like a fireplace chimney for a nose and really or truly or daggers on his toes they are saying his mouth was like a fireplace as if fire comes out of his uh fine mouth so this is a simile fine simile is used in this like a fireplace mein they are saying that his face, his mouth has been compared to a fireplace because it is assumed that it is very much assumed that dragons can release fire from the mouth kyunki humne movies mein aise hi dekha hai dragons you know but in the fiction movies only so uh, it is assumed that dragons can release fire from the mouth that's why mouth like a fireplace you know use kiya hai chimney for a nose fine why chimney because they can produce smoke from their nostrils इसलिए उन्होंने चिमनी बोल दिया उसके नोज को बिकॉज इट 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 कैन सेंड स्मोक आउट ऑफ द नोज एंड रियली ट्रूली डैगर्स ऑन टोज मीन्स इसके जो टोज हैं दे आर वेरी शार्प लाइक डैगर जो चाकू होते हैं नाइफ होते हैं शार्प नाइफ उसकी तरह इसके टोज हैं फाइन रियली ट्रूली दे आर डिस्क्राइबिंग सी उन्होंने इस टाजा में ड्रैगन दैट कस्टर्ड ड्रैगन की डिस्क्रिप्शन वेरी स्केरी दी है that he can you know he has very sharp teeth and very pointed skin and he can you know as if he can kill someone but uska jo really trait hai wo bahut scary banaya hai coward dikhaya hai usko so your appearance has nothing to do with your traits also ye bhi ek theme hai that sometimes you look something else but you are inside you are very scared belinda was as brave as a barrel full of beers and ink and blink chased lions down the stairs mustard was as brave as a tiger in a rage but custard cried for a nice safe cage so now the poet explains the inner strength of uh, all the characters of the poem in this stanza he says belinda was very brave as a group of bears barrel means group fine please note down As if पूरा एक झुंड बियर्स का मिलके जितना पावरफुल होता है दे हैव कंपेयर द ब्रेवरी ऑफ बिलिंडा विद दैट एंड इंक एंड ब्लिंक जो माउस एंड यू कैन से सेकेंड करेक्टर इज किटन किटन एंड माउस इंक एंड ब्लिंक दे चेज लायंस डाउन द स्टेज दे वर ऑल्सो सो ब्रेव दैट इवन दे कुड हंट अ लायन यू नो मस्टर्ड वॉज एज ब्रेव एज अ टाइगर इन अ रेज रेज मीन्स एंगर let me talk about the dog dog mustard was also very brave fine so poet has presented all the characters very brave and ferocious full of anger and bravery but custard jo itna zyada jiski body badi hai fireplace jaisa mouth hai chimney jaisa nose hai dagger jaise toes hai but even then this custard cried for a nice safe cage it means he wants everything safe he wants to be remain behind the bars of the cage is not at all afraid he is not at all sorry brave he is so afraid of everything fifth stanza before furthering to the next stanza tell me is it clear to you all किसी को कोई डाउट तो नहीं है बिकॉज बार बार ऐसे पोएम्स नहीं होएंगी यस वी विल बी डूइंग लिटरी डिवाइसेस बट फर्स्टली वी आर ट्राइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड द मीनिंग स्टंजा वाइज सो मोस्ट ऑफ यू आर सेइंग यस बाय कंसीडरिंग योर यस आई विल बी टेकिंग इट फर्दर बिलिंडा टिकल्ड हिम शी टिकल्ड हिम अनमर्सीफुल इंक ब्लिंक एंड मस्टर्ड दे रूडली कॉल्ड हिम Percival, they all sat laughing in the little red wagon at the real or truly or cowardly dragon. Belinda, you know, used to stroke the dragon in a very cruel way. Belinda को भी लगता है कि बहुत ही, you know, uh, he's a bad dragon. He's को बहुत डरपोक है. And she is very unmerciful towards him. Tickling करना, छेड़ना किसी को, you know, and uh, stroke करना किसी को. and in a very unmerciful way you know not at all mercy hote hai when you have sympathy for other she was not sympathizing towards dragon usko lagta tha such a huge dragon and how ungrateful he is how covered he is so she would tickle him unmerciful 
ink blink and mustard they rudely called him percival percival kon hota hai who thought to be you know percival is the person who who uh, thinks that who is brave but actually he is not परसिवल एक्चुअली नेम है किसी का प्लीज राइट डाउन ये बेटा एक नाइट था एक किंग एक स्टोरी है उसकी परसिवल की हु इमेजिन हिमसेल्फ टू बी ब्रेव बट ही वॉज नॉट एट ऑल ब्रेव ओके सो इसलिए दे हैव कंपेयर आई हैव ऑलरेडी क्लियर प्रिंसि द मीनिंग ऑफ रियल योर ट्रूलियो इज रियली एंड ट्रूली clear i didn't see the chart sorry for that but uh, maine abhi dekha to i explained really realio trulio is truly okay so uh, i was just discussing with you so this uh, percival is actually one of the knights who was brave who considered to be brave but he was not so they are saying ki because he was not courageous he was not brave belinda you know was unmerciful towards him wo डिफ्रेंशिएट करती थी बाकी क्रीचर्स के साथ उसको इंक ब्लिंक और मस्टर्ड को शी कंसिडर बेटर देन दिस मस्टर्ड सॉरी दिस कस्टर्ड द ड्रैगन एंड अदर क्रीचर्स इंक ब्लिंक और मस्टर्ड जो जो डॉग माउस और किटन है दे वर वेरी रूट टू वर्ड्स इम एंड दे वुड कॉल हिम परसिवल परसिवल इज दैट किंग यू नो दे वुड मेक फन ऑफ हिम बाई कॉलिंग इम परसिवल दैट तू तो राजा है जो इतना डरपोक है वो वाले राजे की कहानी के साथ दे ऑल सैट लाफिंग इन द लिटिल रेड वैगन आई टोल्ड यू रेड कलर्ड वैगन इज दैट वेहीकल इन विच एनिमल्स और थिंग्स आर कैरिड आप इसको स्टेशन पे देखते हो ना जिसमें बिठा के हम लगेज लेके जाते हैं कुलीज और एनिमल्स को बिठाते हैं सो दे वुड सेट इन दैट लिटिल रेड वैगन एंड रियली ट्रूली कॉवर्डली ड्रैगन एंड दे वुड मेक फन ऑफ दिस ड्रैगन बाई कॉलिंग हिम रियली यू आर अ कॉवर्ड ट्रूली यू आर अ कॉवर्ड so this is they are underestimating this uh, dragon who seems to be very ferocious who seems to be huge but hai na kuch log hote hain aapne dekha hoga some people are very you know timid chote chote hote hain but guts unme bahut hote hain so appearances have nothing to do with your real personality but some people are so huge and tall and but they do not know how to talk and how to so ye nahi hote hain appearances are different than what we are our real personality is Sixth stanza. Belinda giggled till she shook the house, and Blink said, "Weak, which is giggling for a mouse." Ink and mustard rudely asked his age when Custard cried for a nice safe cage. Poet says that Belinda used to laugh so loudly that her voice would echo in the house. Uski awaaz se pura ghar hil jata tha. Belinda would laugh. at this custard the dragon and she would shook the whole house the whole house would uh, voice was echoed and blink the mouse used to laugh and make a sound of weak blink kon hai that gray colored mouse he would produce that sound of weak on the other hand ink and mustard would tease him by asking the dragon his age kitne years ka hai tu you know they would make fun of this dragon ink and mustard so this is you know bully ki a theme ban sakti hai is poem ke upar being bullying others is very easy you know bullying others kisi ko tang karna aap dekhte ho bahut zyada jab colleges mein jaate hain bacche jo senior colleges and juniors are being bullied by them ragging hota hai insult hota hai that is another concept wo isme nahi hai but yes bullying is we can take like in your class you can see you bully others you bully the person who does not respond to you sometimes by the physical features ke upar aap remark karte ho kabhi uski okay ma'am ke samne to aise bola nahi you know what uh, you keep on uh, judging others because they never speak you know you try to underestimate others we this is us we do this in the society we you know uh, insult others by seeing their traits but if a person is not speaking it doesn't mean that person doesn't have sense if a person is not showing off his courage it doesn't mean he does not have courage clear so this poem is going to teach us so wo kya karte the all the creatures including uh, belinda and other creatures they would laugh at this mouse 
uh, uh, sorry, this uh, uh, dragon mouse would produce the sign of weak. Belinda would giggle and laugh at him. Or Jabki Ink, Jotha, Mouse, and this must, uh, kitten and this dog, they would, you know, ask his age. Daksh, bahut aise aise kar rahe, you know? Daksh, have you been bullied by others or you have bullied others? I, I'll ask you later on. Fine. So Ink and Mustard rudely uh, asked his age when Custard cried for a nice safe cage. Wo keh rahe, ink or Mustard, usko bar bar pushti. what is your age? You are a kid. So Custard, he would cry for a nice safe cage. He always, you know, some people like to be protected. It doesn't mean that uh, a simple example that you and your friends are going somewhere in your car and, and, and you know one person say please drive slowly and you will make fun of the person okay are your kid chote bachcho ki tarah dar rahe ho in the driving you know but actually the person wants the safety and behind that intention is something else but hum usko mazak bana dete we start bullying that person he's a kid you know he's afraid of the speed of the car but actually he is the, the thing is the person wants safety only so it, this is us in normal life mein hum karte hai. we bully others very, in our families to our siblings to our friends friends ko to bahut zyada hi karte hai. fine in your class it is too much i know that so custard cried for a nice safe cage jab custard ka bahut mazak uda rahe hai sabhi so at the end i will ask you secretly who is the custard in your class okay uh, suddenly suddenly they heard a nasty sound and mustard growled and they all looked around meow cried ink and oo cried belinda for there was a pirate climbing in the window there comes the turn in this story of this poem fine nasty means unpleasant please note down the meanings baki ve kitne kuch khas words nahi the fine nasty means unpleasant growled means a barking sound of the dog pirate kon hai abhi who is pirate pirate is the person who robs the ship in the sea pirates in the ship aapne suna hoga pirates uh, pirate is a person who robs a ship in the sea jo chor hote hain steal the enter the ship and they rob it theek hai wo hijack kar jaise planes hijack hote hain pirates come in the ship and to rob it for the purpose of robbing it winda means it is used for window Winda here means a casual language. Winda is no word. It means window. Window ki jaise unne truly or really ke liye use kiya. Vaise winda means window. Please note down. But suddenly what happens all of a sudden while all of them were making fun of this dragon. Usi time they heard a sound of someone entering the house. When they looked towards the window they saw a pirate. Uh, you can say a pirate climbing up the wall. And the dog started barking at him and the kitten mewed to him. Belinda cried, oh, because all of them were scared by seeing that pirate, that thief, that robber. Bahut mazak uda rahe thai, you know, that they were making fun of this dragon named Custard. And when they saw a robber entering their house through a window. Dog started barking and they started producing sound and Belinda was also scared. Every creature was scared. Pistol in his left hand, pistol in his right and he held in his teeth a cutlass bright. His beard was black, one leg was wood. It was clear that the pirate meant no good. Beautiful lines. So pistol, handgun ko kehte hai, you know that. Pistols kya hoti hai, handguns hoti hai jo. Cutlass means a short sword. You know, jis mein wo, you know, blade jaisi curve wali uh, sword bani hoti hai. Clear? Ek haath mein uske gun hai, dousre hand mein uske choti si talwar or knife kind of, uh, you can say, uh, sword. So left hand mein pistol and the right uh, a pistol in his left hand, pistol in his right, and he held in his teeth a cutlass bride. Dono hato mein pistol hai, or teeth mein usne wo sword, small sword pakda hua very shining and bright in color. Black beard and one leg was wood. Ye typical bo pirate hai, jo movies mein dikhate hai, pirate in the ship, that having this uh, such kind of appearance. 
and it was clear by seeing that man that his intentions were not at all good he has entered the house with some wrong intentions is that clear to you all any doubt to anyone by so far you can ask me beta all clear shall i continue bell hone wali hai waise to aur okay i will try to uh, abhi hai hamara kafi stanzas i guess bell ho jayegi so before i could continue i will not continue today fine because in in a rush we cannot do finish this poem so next time we will finish this poem and then we will do literary devices and question answers so it will take some time two to three days and but please it's a request to you all to send your posters many of you have sent already but there are some students who have not sent i'm giving you time by tomorrow 5 pm in the notebooks group only you have to send the poster you can send the clicks also only no need to send pdfs because your numbers are saved okay so if you want your full assessment please send your notebooks as well as notebooks to be sent individually posters to be sent in the group have a nice day beta